Okay. All right, so we can start on the uh, fish and just talk about that, portion it up a little bit, get it inside of the marinade uh, before we sear it so we get some of that flavor coming through. We have beautiful halibut fillets uh, from Gorgeous. Maine, um, caught off of uh, uh, about an 80-pound fish, so good fat to it, nice thickness of the, um, the fillet, so it will work uh, really good for what we're doing. Very nice. So we're just going to portion it up now. That spice that's in the front is the traditional Al Pastor spice. It has a lot of guajillo chilies in there, which are kind of raisiny, a lot of Mexican oregano, a little bit of garlic, not uh, really spicy. and some onion. So it's not going to be super spicy, it's just going to be a little warm. Mm, delicious. But there's going to be other components to the dish that will have some spice. So, um, But we're just going to do a relatively thin you know, slice. We'll serve two uh, for this. Okay. Sort of one in each taco? Yep. Yeah, I mean, if you wanted to do tacos, for sure, yeah, but it, uh, like all the flavors of the taco, but not necessarily gotcha. utilizing okay. um, the taco per se. So really light for summertime. Really, really light like for that. summer, yeah. So um, a lot of salad components to this, a lot of cold uh, components as well. So just a little bit of salt. Okay. That's kind of uh, just curing a little bit. Let that kind of work into the flesh a little bit. Let it kind of... Uh, some of the moisture from the fish leak into the mm -hmm. uh, into the spice, so then we can add a little bit more, so we'll get a nice crust on the outside. About how long do you want to let that sit? About three to four minutes, probably. All right, so All nothing right? more than that. Nothing. You don't want to let this go overnight. No, you don't want to let okay. that go overnight, because what's going to happen in that case is it's going to start to cure the fish, mm -hmm. and then you're going to have a much saltier or almost yeah. dried out product for, for that. But you could, if you wanted to cure halibut with this, you could do that, but for this purpose to then go right. and cook it, it's not going to work out for you very well. I'm going to start to render out some of this pork fat that we have that we're going to wind up cooking our halibut in. So just in, we're going to cook it gently. So we're going to use a nonstick pan for this because we're not going to get it on really, really high heat because we don't want a ton of color or a ton of browning on the outside of the fish. If there wasn't this spice, I would use a regular pan or maybe even a cast iron skillet. So we got a lot of heat, a lot of browning on the outside, but we don't want to burn these spices. So we're going to go nice and gently. So this is just a little bit of pork fat. Now, where do you get that from? Is that from a, like a fat back? Uh, this is from fat back. It's mm -hmm. un unsalted um, fat back. Okay. okay. So we just uh, will render a couple of those pieces out, and that will help uh, help give us a little bit of flavor. So what we'll do is we'll also add a little bit of uh, oil to that. This is just a blended oil, 90% vegetable, 10% olive, and that'll help. And we also have a little bit of rendered bacon fat. Being a Jewish guy, <laughs> yeah. you got every dish that needs to have bacon, in my opinion. But, so this is just a little bit of rendered bacon fat. So pork on pork. Pork on pork, yes. So that's just rendering out. We're going to basically just get a little bit of flavor in that. Now we're going to turn our oil down or turn our, uh, our heat down a little bit so none of those browns. Mm -hmm. And if we can bring the fish over here, sure. we can uh, start to lay it down into our pan. So you always want to like, you know, turn it away from where your hands are so you don't, uh, you know, see, like you can see how the colors kind of change a little bit. You yeah, can definitely. even add a little bit more at this point, to, which will help in giving you that nice Listen, crust on the yeah. outside. And you only do one side? We just do one side. Again, because it's fish, you don't want to, uh, you know, all that right. much to overpower it. So this is never going to go in the oven. We're just going to do this nice and slow, more all than right. likely the whole time on one side. Okay. Uh, baste it up a few times, mm -hmm. um, and then we'll be good to go. So just in some of that fat, we're just going to kind of baste some of that up over the halibut a little bit. And then this color is, you know, too. yeah, it, it creates a beautiful orange mm -hmm. reddish color. So nice and slow, and then all that pork fat is kind of flavoring up yeah. the fillets. And this is something, since it's so fresh, we can serve this medium. You don't have to cook this totally. all the way through. So Please don't. Just, <laughs> <laughs> I am going to take some of this pineapple, add it to the pan, that's cooking the halibut, as well as a couple of chunks of lime. I'm not gonna squeeze them, I'm just gonna add them right to it, let it brown, let it flavor the oil, let okay. it which will in turn flavor the fish. Yeah. yeah, see that's starting to caramelize, I mean mm -hmm. it's beautiful, the fish is probably about medium rare right now, so. Three minutes. Oh, if you can see this, look at this. Now you can see how the fish oh, is totally yeah. changing, like, it's almost translucent on mm -hmm. the top. It's you know, almost cooked all the way. We may just give it a little flip to the other side just to warm the other side, but that fish is perfect and ready to awesome. go. So actually what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn the heat off and just let it sit with the heat of the pan. 